the craziest um, fire department story that you can share with us? Oh, craziest fire department story. Okay, well, here's a quick one. Uh, we were in the uh, we were in the ambulance. I, I I sometimes work on an ambulance, and we were in the ambulance, and uh, we got a call for a guy who was walking down the middle of the street, and uh, we we stop, we pick him up. Sir, where do you live? And he was clearly disoriented, um, didn't know where he was, didn't know you know this, that, or the other. So we put him in the back of the ambulance, and really our only choice is to take him to the hospital. So. He's like, he's like, no, no, don't take me to the hospital. I don't want to go to the hospital. He's like, I, I live around here or I live around here. And it was pretty clear that he was out of it. So we're like, all right, sir, well, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to just drive around a little bit. And if you see your house, just let us know. But we're going to have to take you to the hospital. So in my head, I'm thinking, no way are we find in this house. We're driving around, driving around, driving around. He can't even see anything. And then all of a sudden, he just decides, he's like, this is my house, like, there's no windows. He's not looking out a window. So we opened the door. I was like, okay, well, my partner is going to go check and see if this is your house thinking like, okay, we're taking this guy to the hospital. No shit. Somehow without even seeing the house, the guy, uh, my partner goes up, knocks on the door and says, Hey, are you missing like a 95 year old man? And they're like, yes, actually we are. <laughs> <laughs> and no shit. It was the guy's house. He just, he had the wherewithal to, to know where he was at. So that was interesting. That's great. Charlie, you're up. Do you have the, do you have the uh, question? Uh, tacos or pizza? Oh, man. That is rough, Charlie. Uh, I'm going to go tacos. I eat tacos three, three times a week, so I'm going to go tacos. Nice. All right. Well, mine is, who is more chipper in the morning, you or Cherie? Oh, Cherie, without a doubt. My God, it takes me 45 minutes to be able to feel like a human. <laughs> um, best part about living in Colorado? Uh, just the adventures. Like, I mean, uh, I will say that my favorite thing right now is uh, September hunting season. I just absolutely love it. Doesn't even need, I don't even need to get anything. I just love being out there. Your favorite games movement. You know what I always loved about the games was they always, for a number of years there, they always included swimming and nobody else could swim except for me. So, <laughs> so, so I always shined on those ones. So I'm going to go with swimming. <laughs> and my, my last one is uh, your favorite thing you like to do to just recharge, relax, um, get away from it all. Uh, sauna. I, I'll, I'll do a, I'll do a 45 minute sauna at 190 pretty much every day. And I use that as kind of like my mindfulness practice as well as just kind of let the body recoup a little bit. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Matt, this has been a fun hour. Thank you so much for taking the time out. Uh, you've, you've had the best background of any of our guests with the beautiful, uh, clouds in the sky and oh, thanks. <laughs> saw some planes go by as we were talking. <laughs> yep. So, well, thank you very much. You're, you're an OG. We've, we've been following you for a long time. Uh, you've always been awesome when I've run into you at, at the Arnold or Rogue. Um, and it was just great to chat with you. Well, thanks for having me on, guys. I really appreciate it. Good to meet you guys. Yeah. Thanks a lot. We'll talk Good soon. Bye-bye. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks.